Hey air signs, welcome to the crystal monthly healing video for November. <laughs> I need to come up with a better title. I need to come up with a better title. Uh, for those who are new to my channel, hello. Thank you for joining us. Uh, this kind of video is something I started doing a couple months ago and people really enjoyed it. Where basically I pull cards from this deck, the Crystal Wisdom Healing Oracle deck. All decks I use, by the way, are in the description below if you want them for yourself. To see the crystals that you need for the upcoming month. And every time we pull cards... I read the descriptions of the crystals, I read them out loud no matter how many times I've done this so that you can decide for yourself if you really need these crystals or not, okay? Because they're very general, I'm reading for thousands of people, and no need to run out and buy crystals if you don't really need them for yourself, right? So I'm gonna, I basically tell you what the crystals are for and you can decipher if you actually need it or not. And then we pull some tarot cards. I don't go into crazy detail about it, but I pull a few tarot cards to see why you need those crystals to also kind of give you an idea if you're actually resonating with that and if you really need them or not, okay? I used to do this like in a two-parter situation with like the first six signs from like Aries to Virgo and then Libra to Pisces, but my throat, my voice, my asthma, my allergies are really bad right now. And so my voice... There it goes. My voice has been going out when I've been doing videos. So I've also been, it's also been hard for me to get videos done. So I decided I'm going to break these up into elements, give my voice a little bit more of a break in between. All right. So I decided to start with air signs. I know. Why not start with fire? You guys just called me. You guys just called me. Okay. All right. Air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Libra, you're calling me. All right, Libra, let's do it. So this is for the month of November. <clears throat> November is a crazy month. A lot of cool, crazy stuff going on. A lot of Matt, I talked about this on YouTube Live. If anyone's curious, the Full Moon Scorpio video, I talked a lot about the first energies, first energies, energies of the first half of November. So go ahead and check that out. And I will be doing a live video on the Full Moon um, in Taurus. I always do the New Moon Full Moon videos. I love doing them. Uh, I think I've only skipped one because of family stuff. But anyway, it's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. Okay. So Libra, let's see what crystals you're going to need for the month of November. What crystals do my Libras need for the month of, let's see what we got here. Oh, selenites. I like it. Selenites. Uh, you could be needing some protection here, Libras. That's interesting. Oh, I'm also getting grounding, 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 grounding. Um, Libras, I don't think you necessarily feel attacked. I think you're actually feeling quite agitated with people. Uh, I'll be completely honest with you. I think you're feeling really agitated with people. Um, this is this selenite is usually for protection. It's also usually to help uh, get downloads or receive downloads, really amp up your intuition. I think you're needing to ground yourself to see clearly. Okay, if you are aggravated because people are attacking you, it can add for that. It can add to your need for protection as well. But I feel like for most of you, it's to ground and to get clarity on some stuff here. Okay, but like I said, it's also a great stone for protection. What other crystals do my Libras need for the month of November? It's one of my personal favorites, to be honest with you. For those who've been with me for a while, I had to replace my selenite ring. I was so sad. It broke. Like, it flat out broke. Like, the ring portion, because actually this is almost like the same style that I used to wear it in. Like, the ring portion actually just broke off. This is Oralite, actually. Fell in love with it. Anyway. Tangent. What crystals do my Libras need for the month of November? What other crystals do my Libras need for the month of November? Mm. Yeah, I'm getting it's mostly for intuition and for some of you, some of you protection. Most of you, it's for your intuition. What other crystals do my Libras need for the month of November? What other crystals do my Libras need for the month of November? Oh, wow. That's it, Libra. You just got one, just the selenite. So let's go ahead and I'll read you the description. Again, this is so you can decipher for yourself if you need this or not. Okay. Selenite, divine light. In the ancient world, selenite protected against wanderings of the mind. It invokes mental clarity and divine inspiration. Spirituality is vital for you. You are a translucent soul who moves fluidly through time. Use insights wisely. Avoid confusing past with present. You see into people's hearts to what motivates them. Do not be manipulated or too eager to please. Stand by what you know. I really feel that aggravation coming up as I said that. Really felt that. Oh, some of you could be realize, some of you could be feeling or wondering or questioning if people are trying to take advantage of you. This is going to help you get clarity on that, okay? Uh, stand by what you know. You have the gift of clarity and mental flexibility with the power to make excellent decisions. This is happening in the workplace. Sorry, they gave me downloads. <laughs> I just want to stop myself because they gave me downloads. A lot of you, this is in the workplace. 
Some of you it's romantic. Oh, or is it a combination? Oh, interesting. Yeah, a lot of you, this is for the workplace. A lot of this is for the workplace. Um, I do feel a small group of you, though, that it's for romantic situations. But within that group, I don't know. I'm starting to wonder if you're messing around at work. I'm just saying, just saying. No judgment. No judgment. That can be fun sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> I don't know. A lot of times it could end up bad, too. I'm just saying. But most of you, I feel like it's in the workplace. Anyway, a situation is unpredictable, no matter how solid it appears. <laughs> As I said, it can end badly. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Be prepared for challenges and changes. Banish confusion. Clarity is needed. Allow divine light to inspire the future. Let go of something dear to you. Parting does not mean loss of love. Uh, reconciliation is possible. Make the first move. Overheard conversations enlighten you. Being in the flow strengthens your well-being. The frequency of the stone is exceptionally high. Great for the crown, soul star, and stellar gateway. Great for Taurians and Cancers. And for shining divine light on the earth. All right, Libras. Let's go ahead and see why you need these crystals. Uh, I feel you guys are asking me about November reads. I am doing them. I am doing them. Uh, for those who didn't watch my video on the updates on the channel, please watch that. I encourage you to watch that. It will explain a lot. Okay. All right. Why do my Libras need the selenite crystal for the month of November? Yeah, I'm hearing calm. Yeah, Libras, this is to calm your mind here. Uh... This is to calm your mind. Some of you are experiencing anxiety and it's clogging It's clogging your judgment. Clogging, that's interesting. Clogging your judgment. It could also be clogging your intuition and uh, the way you, you see the situation here, okay? Could be making it just a little foggy. But yeah, I'm getting some anxiety. Keep in mind, Libra, someone could be feeling this way about you, okay? Why do my Libras need the Selenite Crystal for the month of November? Why do my Libras need the Selenite Crystal for the month of November? Okay. Why do my Libras need the Selenite Crystal for the month of November? Why do my Libras need the Selenite... Sorry. Here. Why do my... A little ADD today. Why do my Libras need the Selenite Crystal for the month of November? Some of you feel like someone's fucking with you. Sorry, I just got that really strong. Oh, what did I say? It could be work. Three of Pentacles. Capricorn energy. Oh, Libras. You want something to work. You just want something to run smoothly. And you have a lot of anxiety about it. And like I said, for some of you, this could be in the workplace. Some of you could feel like people at work are out to get you, don't have your best interests at heart, or are fucking with you, like straight out fucking with you. Others, I do feel in, oh, this feels like a different group. This is like a different group I'm picking up on. Uh, wanting to reconcile with someone or make something work. Just make, they keep getting make something work smoothly. Make something work smoothly. You're not sure of their intentions of, or their wants. And for some reason, you're not able to pick up on it because I feel like you're not grounded. Okay. Because I feel like you're not grounded. Yeah. I feel, I, yeah, I feel those are two very different scenarios that the both, that the Selenite Crystal can help you with in both scenarios. Mercury retrograde, man. Shit. Um, Libras, don't let the anxiety get to you. I I really feel like the, I feel like you're in a nine of swords energy. Libra, calm down, <laughs> calm it down. Uh, I think it's actually a lot better than you think it is. I think it's a lot better than you think it is, and I think Selenite's gonna help you get clarity on that. Okay, if you feel like people are fucking with you, especially in the workplace, um, I don't think you're entirely wrong. I don't think you're entirely wrong, but I also think you can handle it just fine. You're a Libra. Remember, you're a Libra, okay? I think you can handle it just fine. But for those wanting to work with someone or work something out with someone, wanting something to run smoothly, because Three of Pentacles is also about building, right? It's also about building a foundation here. Um, it can happen. And I think whatever your fears are about what they may be thinking or maybe feeling or not thinking or not, not get see, nine of swords, total nine of swords, not thinking, not feeling, I think are way blown out of proportion than what is actually true. You just can't see that very clearly right now for whatever reason. So Selenite will really help you there. Why else do my Libras need the Selenite Crystal for the month of November? Oh! Libras, I'm sorry, this is cute. Cancerian energy. 
soulmate energy some of you definitely really want to make something work with a soulmate okay uh keep in mind guys i know i have a lot of newbies oh I, and i have noticed that by the way sorry total tangent i know i'm a little add today um i have noticed that i got a lot of new waivers on my channel so let's go back to basics so soulmates we got a lot of soulmates we got a lot of soulmates there's no such thing as just oh that's my one soulmate in this lifetime no 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 many people you come across or you feel that instant connection to or that instant draw to or sorry guys or that familiarity with typically a soulmate soulmates teach us lessons sometimes they come around for a season what, what's what's the phrase how's the phrase go uh, a season a reason or a lifetime right but either way libra this is wanting to work with someone that you feel that really intense soul connection with wanting to work it out um for some of you in the workplace you are dealing with soulmates and like i said if you feel like they're fucking with you i I don't think you, I don't think it's what you think it is. I like, I really don't think it's what you think it is. Oh, focus. Yeah, I really don't think it's what you think it is. I think you're, you're thinking like someone in, in the workplace is really, really fucking with you in a bad way. I don't, I don't think so. But like I said, I also don't think you're entirely wrong. Libras, you might've done something or said something. If this is workplace, workplace Libras that might have ticked this person off or it could have been taken the wrong way so in that way they might be fucking with you to get you back but i don't think it's as grand as you might think it is okay why else do my libras need the selenite crystal for the month of november why else do my libras need the selenite crystal for the month of november oh yeah because you don't got peace of mind right now six of swords universe aquarian energy you don't have peace of mind it's foggy it's foggy. It's not clear. Six of Swords is knowing where to go because you see the way ahead. You don't see it. You just can't see well right now, Libra. Wear your glasses. <laughs> Sorry. I thought that was funny. Um, you just need your glasses, Libra. You need your intuitive glasses. That's all. That's all. Why do my Libras need the Selenite Crystal for the month of November? Why do my Libras need the Selenite Crystal for the month of November? Oh gosh, Libra, Ten of Wands, Sag energy. You're really stressed out and burdened by this. And like I said, I feel I really feel Nine of Swords, like that level of anxiety for some of you. Keep in mind it can be vice versa, Libra. Someone could be feeling this way about you. Selenite will also give you clarity on them as well. Either way, really, really burdened by this not being able to see clearly or understand clearly. You feel like you don't have all the answers. Why else do my Libras need the Selenite crystal for the month of November? Strength. Uh, Leo energy. Why does this feel so good? This feels really good. Um, because this is gaining control of the situation, Libra. This is gaining control. I I feel like you're okay. You're realizing you're having anxiety. You're realizing that you might be taking this to a bigger place than it needs to go, and you're trying to regain control of yourself. But it feels good. It feels very calming. Meditation will be really important for you right now, Libra. And breathing. They're telling me breathing. Are you not breathing, Libra? Breathe. Breathe. <laughs> breathe. <laughs> Uh, you know, and to be honest with you, most people don't know how to breathe. God, I should do a video on that. I should do a video on that. Most people do not know how to breathe. Anyway, speaking from the person who can barely breathe right now, Le Libras, almost called you Leo. Could we know the Leo could have that in your chart? Either way, you will, you will get grounded. You will get grounded. You're going to calm this part of yourself because you're going to have to. Whether you're trying to reconcile with a soulmate, trying to get something started with. Some of you are trying to get something started and you have anxiety of like, do they feel the same way I do? I don't know if they feel the same way I do. I don't know if we can pull this off. What if, what if, what if? Get it, get, stop it. <laughs> stop it with the anxiety. Um, you're going to be fine, Libra. The Selenite Crystal, I think, will really help you quite a bit. I'm also getting confidence here. So there's a lot of that yellow energy. Working on your solar and your upper chakras are going to be really important for you during the month of November, especially dealing with this situation particularly if you're trying to get something started with a soulmate or trying to work something out with a soulmate, okay? Overall energy, we have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, Jupiter energy. Yeah, while you're in this mode, things are not going to be moving very much, okay? It's hard to get anywhere. You know, I think I said this somewhere before. How can you see where you're going if you can't see, right? If you can't see, you need to see. So there's not going to be a whole lot of movement, Libra, until you can get out of this energy to get to this energy, to get to this energy okay oh libras all right so let's go ahead and do let's see gemini aqua gemini aquarius gemini aquarius gemini aquarius sorry aquas i'm filling gems filling the gems uh, gems over here okay all right let's see here 
What crystals do my Geminis need? Ooh, I've never seen this one before. Now, guys, I love crystals. I'm a total geology nerd. I am terrible at pronouncing them, okay? For my newbies, I'm terrible at pronouncing them, so hang in there with me. <sighs> Lavender Argonite? Lavender Argonite. Lavender Argonite. Ooh, this feels very earthy. It almost feels like um, like a watermelon tourmaline. That's kind of what it reminds me of, like a watermelon tourmaline. Anyway, let's see what other crystals want to come out here, Geminis. What other crystals do my Geminis need for the month of November? What other crystals do my Geminis need for the month of November? What other crystals do my Geminis need for the month of November? What other crystals do my Geminis need for the month of November? What other crystals do my Geminis need for the month of November? You know, I kind of like doing these by elements. I might do this from now on. What other crystals do my Geminis need for the month of November? Hmm. Geminis, I'm feeling a pull in your heart chakra and your, oh, and your solar. Interesting. Your heart chakra and your solar. Hearing substance. Ooh, bumblebee jasper. Oh, that's cute. That's pretty, actually. Very pretty. Bumblebee jasper. Um, What's this pulling I'm feeling on your heart chakra and your solar? Oh, you guys are in heavy contemplation, too. Okay, Geminis. I, I shouldn't be surprised. You guys are air signs, right? What other crystals do my Geminis need? You're being pulled towards someone. You're being pulled towards someone or you're doing the pulling. But there's a tug. That's for damn sure. There's a tug. There's a tug, Gemini. Oh, not, oh man, now my belly's all hot. Geminis, stop it. <laughs> what other crystals do my Geminis need? You feel a major pull towards someone? Um, Why is it? Wow. Ooh. I feel like it's freaking you out though. I'm just, I don't usually call the crystals on the bottom of the deck, but someone really likes their amethyst. Amethyst is here. Um, let's go ahead and read these out so you guys can decide if you need them for yourself. Oh, is that what that is? Are those butterflies, Gemini? Is that why it's freaking you out? It's like, I feel, like oh, that's what that is. Butterflies. I almost forgot what that felt like. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Lavender Argonite, environmental healing. Lavender Argonite heals your personal environment and Earth's meridian grid and raises the vibrations of the planet. Become comfortable in your own body and environment. You incarnated to be a guardian for the planet. You are a vehicle for purifying and healing the Earth, reminding others that it is a sacred living being to be treated with respect. Pay attention to where you live within yourself. Do your inner housekeeping and nurture yourself. Become a vehicle for the healing of the environment by opening yourself to higher vibrational energies. Do not participate in anything that despoils the planet or diminishes its resources. Work with your power, animal, and nourish your inner being. Sorry, I had to take... <laughs> Sorry, my throat's closing. Sorry. <clears throat> Work with your power, animal, and nourish your inner being here. Oh, is that a focus? There we go. Take no risks and avoid excesses. Definitely take no risks during this time, guys. Just... Anybody watching Gemini? Uh, well, just because the new moon in Scorpio is really um, highly aspected for accidents and injuries, definitely try not to take too many risks right now if you, don't, if you don't have to. If your environment is unhealthy and disharmonious, it cannot support well-being. Transform it and well-being returns. The frequency of the stone is high, aligns the earth star, the base, the third eye, the soul star, and the stellar gateway. Great for Taurians, Virgos, Cappies, and Aquas, and for healing the environment. Interesting. Interesting. Um, also careful what you're eating because my stomach did get very warm. I felt like it was butterflies. Could also be an upset stomach. Just say <laughs> for my Geminis who might not be, you know, who might be having an upset stomach. That could have been what that is. Because I was talking about health quite a bit in your environment. So just be mindful of that. Bumblebee Jasper. Trust. Bumble. <laughs> Geminis, if you have butterflies for someone, just trust it. Just trust it. Okay. Bumblebee Jasper started startling colors and still a new vibration. The stone stimulates new projects, bringing you the message that you must have honesty in your life. You are a divine being with immense inner rich riches, holding the bright energi energizing light of the sun. You were born to carry out a specific task. Charismatic, you naturally attract people. You have inner strength and courageously go where others do not dare. Harvest your resources and put them to work to heal dis-ease. A moment of fertilization. You are being open to new possibilities. Remember that the bee is not 
aerodynamically designed to fly, but it does. Cut through doubt and uncertainty. Relax and focus. Clear sight is needed. Visualize your future. Love and good fortune rush towards you. Grasp these opportunities. Gemini. That's literally what it says. That's literally what it said. Not the Gemini part, but you know. Be a leader, but avoid arrogance. Trust the universe. You overcome obstacles. Someone new lights up your life. Ooh, Gemini. Food intolerances. <laughs> Sorry. It literally says that. It literally says that. Food intolerances and other allergies may underlie any physical discomfort you've experienced. The frequency of the stone is earthy. It's great for the sacral and the solar plexus. Great for Leos, Virgos, and Sagis, and for triumphing over the impossible. Oh, Gemini, you're on quite the mission, aren't you? <laughs> you're on quite the mission here. You And it definitely indicated like possibly meeting someone new or having a lot of new opportunities coming up in November for you, Gems. And I feel like some of you that is love... Because I, I swore I felt butterflies, but like I said, you know, food, food intolerances, I could have felt an upset stomach from you. Um, but let's go ahead and see why you need these crystals here, okay? I'm hearing purge. I am hearing the word purge. You might need to purge your home. Ooh. Or people. You might need to purge your home or people, Gemini. Why do my Geminis need these crystals for the month of November? Wow. Tower in reverse. Scorpionic energy could also be Aries because it's Mars energy. With the Six of Cups, more Scorpionic energy. Could be a straight up Scorpio. Uh, we are still in Scorpio season for the month of November, of course, so keep that in mind here. But this is definitely an upsetting tower moment. It's upsetting, and it could be with a soulmate here. Is this something from your... Oh, well, we are in Lazarus season. I was about to say, it almost feels like a... Um, uh, a flashback, like a, a flash from the past. A flash from the past? Blast from the past. That's that phrase. Blast from the past. That's the blast from, blast from the past for some of you. Oh, man. It's like, it's really hitting me in my solar. Whatever this is, Gemini, I feel like this is a moment that shook your confidence or someone's confidence. It's almost giving me like, it's like almost making me like, um... What's the word? Some of you could have had an anxiety attack. Yeah, some of you could have had an anxiety attack here. Others, I'm feeling that you're you're coming into a op new opportunity that's bringing up a really traumatic event for you or an event that was just really awful that you'd rather forget about. You never dealt with it. You never dealt with it. Let's see here. Why do my Geminis need these crystals? Oh, and there's the new love. Oh my God, Ace of Cups. Oh shit, but I don't like this. Page of Wands in reverse with the Five of Wands in reverse, Leo energy. Geminis, it's almost like you're meeting someone or you're realizing you love someone because Six of Cups is butterflies. And I was feeling that. Six of Cups is butterflies. Geminis, okay. Geminis, God, I love you. Some of you are realizing that you're in love with somebody. And you're kind of freaking out, like you're having like a physical reaction to it. But this energy, I do not like this. And it's funny, I was saying purging people. Five of Wands is usually like a lot of fighting between multiple people, not just one. Page of Wands in a verse is gossip, rumors, backbiting, immature ba, immature ba, what the ba, immature bullshit, immature gossip. <sighs> oh, Gemini's, huh? now you're making me hot, Gemini's. Some of you realizing you love someone, some of you met someone new, and it's really rocked your world in a big way. People around you don't like it. It's actually affected you, Gemini. This is definitely not for everybody. Uh, it's actually affected you. Keep in mind, Gemini, you could have had this effect on someone else. Voice, voice, voice. Where's your voice? That's what actually that's what my guides are saying. Where's your voice, Gemini? Where's your voice? Why else do my Geminis need these crystals for the month of November? For some of you, meeting this person could have brought back some traumatic stuff from your past, okay? Could have brought back some traumatic stuff from your past. I'm getting that anxiety again. God, you and Libra. Okay. Why do my Geminis need these crystals for the month of November? Now we have the star Aquarian energy. I love this. This is healing. This is healing, having your wish come true. This is beautiful energy that you're ending on, Gemini. So Gemini's, like I said, I was picking up on a lot of different things here. For some, 
you're meeting someone new, it's shaking your world, rocking your world, and for some that's triggering you from a past event, and people around you have a lot to say about it. A lot to say. A lot to say about it. Um, mm, I'm hearing push. Push. Gemini's, you could be experiencing a really awful tower moment that's actually pushing you in the direction of someone new. You could have recently gone through a breakup and it's pushing you towards a new love interest unexpectedly. And again, I keep getting with the, honestly, all of this, I just keep getting people around you don't like it. People around you are unhappy, but you're getting a wish fulfillment. You are. You got to calm that anxiety though. You got to calm that anxiety and something about your voice. You got to use your voice. You got to use your voice. You got to use your voice, Gemini. Because something about this is pretty delicious and pretty beautiful. And it's adding a lot of light to your life. And I feel like it's elevating you to some extent here. Okay. But yeah, I am feeling for a group of you. It's This whole thing is triggering you to something that happened in your past. I feel like a past heartbreak. And I feel like whoever these people are, they're enabling that fear. Oh, there we go. They're enabling that fear. What, listen to how people are talking to you. Oh, because when you meet this person, a lot of you is a brand new person, okay? Some of you are just realizing you love somebody, okay? So also keep that in mind, like you're just realizing you love somebody and a lot of people got a lot to say about it. Whoever these people are, watch how they're, watch the words they're using. Watch how they're speaking to you. Are they encouraging? Are they using words that are like, I want what's best for you or, excuse me, uh, or are they using really derogatory, kind of insulting kind of language? Like, listen to the words they're actually using because there's a whole lot of ways to say something to somebody, right? There's a whole lot of ways to say it. You can say any kind of news, any kind of news, whether it's devastating or like the best news of your life, you can say it in any tone you really want to say it in, right? Depending on whatever words you want to use or the tone you're using, listen to how these people are talking to you about this situation, about someone that you're realizing that you love or someone you're being pushed towards towards because you recently went through a breakup or some kind of traumatic event, right? Or just meeting someone new and it's really shaking up your world and bringing up a lot of traumas for you. Whatever group you're in, listen to how they're talking to you because I don't like it. It feels very like just enabling ego, enabling fear, very low vibrational. That's the word. Very low vibrational, very low vibrational. But this energy of whatever it is you're heading towards which is love undoubtedly it's love uh for some it is kind of, it is a wish fulfillment you could have even manifested it others also just very healing it's just very healing okay overall energy we have the three of wands in reverse aries energy oh my with the empress libra energy taurus energy divine feminine energy wow unexpected i'm hearing unexpected no wonder there was a tower moment for you. Ah, A lot of you have come across an empress-like energy. It could be a man, doesn't have to be a woman. But three of wands in a verse, that is unexpected. You either knew this person and didn't realize you loved him, shaking your world up, or you ended up with a, you ended up in a breakup situation or having a really bad tower moment in your life and you were pushed towards this person, or you just met this person and you're just like, wow, okay? Let's see, let's see if I can pick up anything about this empress. Something about their eyes. This person has a long stare. <laughs> I know it kind of sounds creepy, doesn't it? This person has a long stare. Gems. I don't know what it is about their stare, but it's long. I think, okay, Gemini's male or female, I think you get lost in their eyes. You get lost in their eyes. There's something about their eyes here. Um, they have a lot of confidence. Whoever this is, they have a lot of confidence, but they're not cocky. There you go. Oh, that's a nice little mix. A lot of confidence. They're not cocky. Their eyes are one of their prominent features. Not the best. Oh, that's funny. Not their best feature. One of their most prominent features. Hmm, I'm still playing. Okay. All right, Gemini. Anyway, that was for you. Aquas, last but not least. Let's do you guys. Okay. Aquas, 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 aquas. What crystals do my Aquarians need for the month of November? What crystals do my Aquarians need for the month of November? Let's see here. Ooh, 
Ooh, Labradite. Labradite. Oh, God, that's so pretty. I freaking love Labradite. Um, getting a lot of communication with you. Acceptance. Interesting. I'm getting communication and acceptance, Aqua, off of that for you. You might have trouble accepting what someone's telling you. Yeah, some of you are having trouble with someone's telling, like accepting what someone's telling you, good or bad. And now we have, oh, ha, ancestralites. Oh, hmm. You might be having a conversation with a family member here, okay? Uh, whatever whatever conversations are going on here, uh, Aqua, I, I do feel like it's bringing up some family stuff for you. It's bringing up some family stuff for you, or you could be dealing with family in general in this conversation. And now we have ancestralites. Azestula, excuse me. Let's see what else wants to come out here. What other crystals do my aquas need for the month of November? Yeah, some of you are directly dealing with some families with family communications. It's bringing up some family issues. You're having to deal with that. Others, it's just a conversation you're having, and you're having trouble accepting what someone's telling you because it's relating to some trauma or wounds you have around family or childhood. Okay. What other crystals do my aquas need? Oh, you got, you got a lot of crystals. You got a lot of crystals. Now we have golden healer. Okay, golden healer. By the way, guys, uh, some of these crystals I know can be very expensive. If you don't want to buy the crystals, but you feel like you need these crystals in these readings, if you go ahead and buy this deck, you can actually use the cards in lieu of the crystals, which is kind of cool, right? But anyway, let's go ahead and start reading these. I'm going to start with Labradite. Mm -hmm. okay labradite the mind's eye labradite raises our consciousness to connect to myth mystical dimensions and the highest protective energies it strengthens your faith in yourself and aids intuitive guidance you are an intuitive being with the gift of foresight keep yourself grounded the veil between the worlds is thin it's very thin right now fyi it is very thin right now you could easily confuse yourself with imaginings. Aim for clear insights. Hold on to common sense. It is your most effective tool in assessing intuitions and acting on those that are valid. Beware psychic vampires. Ensure that you do not have a leaky aura. You face a temporary setback, but a sudden reversal of fortune is possible. Be careful what you wish for. It may come true. Raise your consciousness to the highest levels. Labradite indicates capricious love. Giving your energy away is bad for your health. Establishing an efficient interface with the outside world will protect your well-being. The frequency of the stone is high. It's great for the, the third eye and the crown chakras. Great for Leos, Scorpios, and Sagis, and opening the third eye. Nice. Very nice. All right. Now let's go for Ancestralite. <laughs> Ancestralite. Uh, okay. Ancestralite. The Ancestors. Ancestral light has been radically modified during its time in the earth. It helps you to find the treasures hidden in your past. It takes healing away, healing way back and brings forward soul learning, rolling it into the future, but letting go of experiences that created it. Any disease you are carrying is ancient and has passed down through ancestral line. It relates to prevailing attitudes and forbidden emotions that have been kept firmly repressed, as well as to ancient traumas and family dramas. Take note of your dreams. Family secrets come to the surface. A radical rethink is called for on all that you think you believe and allow yourself to believe. It was interesting when we were talking about acceptance, right? <clears throat> The ancestors are those who have gone before, not just your bloodline. Heal them and heal yourself. The frequency of the stone is earthy. It's great for all chakras and for manifesting gifts from the past. All right, now let's do a zestulite. Actually, let me get something to drink first. <clears throat> mm. Mm. Okay. Hey. A zestulite. Cosmic evolution. Azestulites are imbued with immense spiritual energy and information for guidance and insight. They are here to help Earth ascend to a higher expression of consciousness. You are a being of light here to help Earth evolve. Although you need to raise, rise, I'm sorry guys, I'm really blind. Although you need to rise above mundane concerns, keep your feet on the ground and deal with the everyday. Too much emphasis on sweetness and light leads to ignoring your shadow energies, which becomes inauthentic and lethal. Niceness, if not acknowledged and integrated. Stay real. Leave your ego behind. You are here to represent spiritual light on earth and help it evolve. Make yourself heard. A project is successful no matter what. Avoid becoming impractical and having too high an opinion of yourself to the detriment of others. Retain your humility. Recognizing that every soul is precious ensures you remain in cosmic harmony. 
The frequency of the stone is exceptionally high. They're giving me a download. If you're having a conversation with a family member and it's getting hard, it's getting rough, dig deep for that compassion and understanding. Understanding of where they're coming from, why they act the way they do, even if it's irrational. Just that understanding of they are who they are and that they're a human being is what they're telling me. I'm not trying to judge. I'm just a messenger. But that's what they're telling me. Like, remember, everyone's human. Mm, okay. Anyway, where was I? Recognizing that every soul is precious ensures you remain in cosmic harmony. The frequency of the stone is exceptionally high. Great for all the chakras, but best for the crown. And it's a great for assisting the earth to evolve here. All right. Now, last but not least, we've got golden healer. Ultimate healing. Golden healers are imbued with powerful transformative healing energies. They are a catalyst for profound spiritual activation. Understanding the quantum world helps you understand yourself. The everyday self is bounded by five senses expanded by the six metaphysics, but this can be transcended to move into a field that is non-local everywhere and nowhere at once where there is no time. You create the event being observed. Allow your soul rather than your ego to be your guide. Recognize your potential to be an amazing healer. Your abilities needed honing and those who heal our soul scored to develop empathy much in your life needs transforming surrender willingly to the process someone clinging to the past holds you back encourage them to let go you may be asked to transform your environment or take on a challenging task do so with grace and ease healing flows through you it is a process not something you do the frequency of the stone is exceptionally high great for the soul star and stellar gateway and it's great for uh channeling the christ consciousness Oh my aquas. <laughs> this is some this is some deep stuff, all right? This seems really heavy. You're going to be doing a lot of healing going on this month it seems, especially regarding family and bloodlines. Um and I feel that there's a lot of understanding needed not just from you but from the people involved as well and a lot of communication. So I think this is I'm not going to lie. It feels a little bit like a roller coaster. But let's see what comes out here, okay? Have a clear perception of yourself is what I just heard, is what they just told me. Have a clear perception of yourself, first and foremost. Why do my aquas need these crystals for the month of November? Why do my aquas need these crystals for the month of November? Big plane. <laughs> Why do my aquas need these crystals for the month of November? my aquas need these crystals for the month of november okay why do my aquas need these crystals for the month of november ah! five of cups in reverse it's like ah five of cups in reverse scorpionic energy lovers in reverse gemini energy i okay there's some grievances here aqua this could be between you and definitely an ex-lover feels like more like a former lover doesn't feel new does not feel new whatsoever um but there's grievances here there's been a lot unsaid wow oh aquas there's been a lot unsaid between you and this person could be doing with a straight up gemini here but i'm also getting that there's a lot of imbalance there's a lot of imbalance between masculine and feminine energies here i actually like someone's in a lot of masculine energy Regardless of gender, like someone's in their more masculine energy than their feminine energy here. It is creating a little bit of conflict, but there's grievances here that need to be discussed because there's been a lot that's been unsaid. There's a lot that's been unsaid. Someone also feels like aqua. that You could feel this way or this person can feel this way. Someone feels like someone got away, like the one that got away. Trying to de deal with that and get over that. Three of Wands in reverse, Aries energy. I'm getting a lot of unexpected events like something did not happen the way it was supposed to go at least as far as you're concerned or the, as far as someone's concerned shit did not go the way it was supposed to go shit did not go according to plan and someone's really tired of these grievances really tired of like having conversations but not having full conversations interesting yeah having conversations but not full conversations someone's really tired of that I'm really, yeah, Aqua, this is also why these conversations are hard, because I feel like someone's done talking about it, done trying to talk about it, and not really having a full-blown, in-depth conversation with this person, and the other person's like, get it, finally getting ready to talk, and the other person's like, I'm so sick of this, I'm so sick of this, yeah, 
Uh, why else do my aquas need these crystals for the month of November? Why else do my aquas need these crystals for the month of November? Why else do my aquas need these crystals for the month of November? Why else do my aquas need these crystals for the month of November? Wow. Page of Wands and Four of Pentacles in reverse Capricorn energy. Someone's basically like, hey, I can, I can let this shit go. I can be vulnerable. I can be open. I can do this. I can do this. The other person doesn't want to hear it. I can feel it. The other person doesn't want to hear it like, like, oh, what's different about it this time? <laughs> what's different about it this time? Aqua, I kind of feel like you're the person who's like, what's different about it this time? I kind of feel like you're that person. But you can be any of these people. Why else do my aquas need these crystals? It could be a child. It could be a child saying this. I don't know why that's coming through. If they're a child, they're an adult child. They're not like, you know, a three-year-old. They're an adult child. Like, okay, let's talk. Can we talk? Can we just like, can we just, can we just get all this out there? And the other person doesn't want to hear it. They're having trouble. They're having trouble accepting what they're hearing. Any other messages regarding these crystals? Why aquas need these crystals from the November? Last card. Yeah, the other person does not want to hear it. Mm -mm. Four of cups. Can't see any energy. <laughs> it's amazing. Yep, the other person does not want to hear it. I'm open. I'm vulnerable. Let's talk. Let's talk. Let's talk. I don't want to hear it. I tried. You didn't want to talk. I tried. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. Overall energy. Eee! Five of swords. Venus and Aquarian energy. Someone's going to get frustrated and walk away. Someone's get really frustrated and walk away. This is a very heavy ego card. No wonder these cards were, these couple of these crystals were talking about ego. Aqua, be careful to not let ego get in the way here. I'm not saying this person's changed, but, and I'm sure you're tired of hearing the conversation. And like I said, it could be vice versa. And they are coming across as a page. That is someone who's very immature. It is. It is someone who's very immature. Saying this is probably very hard for them. I'm just saying. I'm just saying very hard for them. And whoever doesn't want to hear it, I feel like is the one who's just like, walking away from the situation not trusting it because of ego okay there's been a lot of grievances here and like i said a lot of things that haven't really been said a lot of conversations without having a full conversation very very frustrating right very very frustrating whoever is not listening or doesn't want to hear it i get it i do try to remember everyone's human we all fuck up we all come to our own realizations in our own time and i'm not saying this person's changed because they are a page i'm not saying that um but they do want to talk and they are trying to be open and vulnerable. So maybe just remember that, okay? And if it's you, like if you're trying to talk and someone's like this to you, sometimes you can try as hard as you want. And if someone doesn't want to have that conversation, you can't. For <coughs> Hold on, guys. Mm. Sometimes you can't force someone to have that conversation, you know? So because if you're on this end, definitely try. But if, if they don't want to hear it, just walk away and try. And for both parties, both parties should be taking their ego out of this. The ego is not helping whatsoever, whatsoever. But yeah, Aqua, this is going to be a little bit of a trying event for you or situation for you. So these crystals will definitely help with that. I'll hold them up again because there are a lot for you guys. So Labradites, Labradites, Ancestralites, Azestulites and golden healer okay all right guys i hope that was helpful and i hope you guys have a really great november okay namaste